Hello everyone, my name is Caitlin Seichow, and the title of my project is How Altering Trawl Durations Can Save Non-Target Species. For my capstone, I worked with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration Fisheries, which is also known as NOAA Fisheries, with Susan Wang as my site supervisor and Yen Chu Wang as my faculty advisor. Before delving into the background, some key terms such as trawling and non-target species must be defined. Trawling can be defined as a fishing method that utilizes large mesh nets and drags them across the seafloor in order to collect marine species, while non-target species can be defined as species that are caught unintentionally. Trawling is very commonly used within fisheries due to its high catch efficiency, and trawl nets are non-selective, which means that they collect everything in their path. This poses significant implications as it can catch large quantities of non-target species, causing issues such as population declines and mortality, and also causing reduced fishery and ecosystem productivity. But previous studies have shown that altering trawl durations can be used as a strategy to prevent non-target species catch. Therefore, the objective of my work was to assess different trawl durations in order to protect vulnerable non-target species. This has led me to form the primary research question, how does altering trawl duration affect the quantity of non-target species encounters? I addressed this question during my internship with NOAA Fisheries by conducting literature reviews and also by using video analysis data that examined non-target and target species interactions with trawl nets during 30, 60, and 90 minute trawl durations. Looking at the results, figure three shows the average encounter composition and percentage for non-target and target species at 30, 60, and 90 minute durations. Through this figure, it can be seen that a large percentage of encounters are non-target species, with 97.03% at 30 minutes, 97.23% at 60 minutes, and 97.53% at 90 minutes. Figure four shows the average number of non-target and target species encounters at 30, 60, and 90 minutes, with the values in parentheses representing the encounter increases between the durations. In this figure, it can be seen that the greatest encounter increases for non-target species is 627.5 encounters, while for target species, it's 29.6 encounters. One takeaway in regard to figure three is that encounter composition percentage does not change much regardless of duration, and also that it remains largely composed of non-target species. Another takeaway in terms of figure four is that there are substantial increases in non-target species encounters within the first 30 minutes compared to target species. Finally, the main takeaway is that overall, as durations increase, encounters increase. But non-target species have more substantial encounter increases than target species in the short term. As a result, 30-minute durations are ideal in reducing non-target species encounters. When examining the broader significance, these results are important because encounter composition and increases over time can be used to optimize the duration of trawls. As global population rises, global hunger also grows. This means trawling use will increase in an attempt to meet food demand which can threaten non-target species. By shortening durations, less target species are encountered, which promotes population recovery and decreased mortality. But it is important to consider that this happens at the expense of reducing target species, which can decrease fishery yield and productivity. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation, and I would like to thank my site supervisor, Susan Wang, my faculty advisor, Yen Chu Wang, my internship partner, Katie Rigg, and all of my friends and family for all of your support and guidance that they have provided throughout the capstone process.